Okay, folks, that's Venus right there, and as you can see, we're going to be able to draw out of this in a little bit, too, and you'll be able to see what dramatic shot we got, and we'll, you can see how awesome telescope, which basically that's what this is, the telescope, every one of the cameras, telescope, whatever you want to call it, on the, uh, you're going to get a great look at that there, which is basically two stars that are below Venus and below the sun. It might not be totally below the sun. It's just that it's below Venus. It sure looks like it's below Venus. Is uh, you know, I'll get over to the. I remember I can't point with a hoot, but I'll get the magnifier. We'll keep zooming in on this for a second. It doesn't really change much. You would probably go with like, and I do it the same way. It's boring because you just. But the idea that you can peer in like this on this stuff, this massive distances. This is probably a good. I've got some great new maps that I'll be able to when I'm showing you stuff on here. You can we can type we can start looking at and getting some pretty good guesses. I've got some probes maps that the idea that NASA's put in so close, this close, that close to whatever objects, and then we can get we can get pretty much ballpark ideas. And I know it's just massive this distances to some people that are like you know God this is still so flipping far. What do you even? But it's just the idea that to be able to peek out there. I'm just bragging and showing off the uh, actual scientific tools, I guess, is what I'm basically trying to show you. That uh, we can get that great looks at, at the sun. Okay, and you can see the auroral, the umbral of the sun. And the core is basically that black area, and yeah, it's underneath the limb there. But there, as you see, there's really no limb. It's hard to tell if that's t totally what the sun actually is like with the, the least amount of little black shade that they can put on it or what. But that is the sun and then that's a star cluster remnants. Uh, and there's a massive distance there too. This is probably a, th a third AU away or something like that or maybe a little bit less than that. But there is a massive distance between that object and the sun. Uh, too hot to live you would think unless there's some kind of organisms that can live in heated environment like that, which, remember, bacteria in a hot area. So, I mean, there's a possibility, but it's hella hot up there. It would be scientific or fine, too, and it would maybe either be dangerous or maybe a uh, if we were ever to get a sample of something that would be on an object like that, uh, it's hard to tell if that would be the doom of the world or if it would be some kind of breakthrough for eternal who knows what. You see what I'm saying? So, biological and so forth. Uh, microbiology and everything like that. So, and there is other objects in there too. Is like, I'll blast back in real fast. We'll put a 400 on it real fast. And as you can see, there's a dark object there. But this stuff is, and it basically that more than like when you see a black object like that, it, you have to, it's 50-50. It's one side of the coin. It's either a star, hyperbolic star that's black, got black butterfly effect light to it, or that it's just a, basically a massive unilluminous object. The majority of the proportions are much higher, though, that it's, that it's actually probably a star doing a butterfly effect, okay? Sometimes stars only put off black light at certain certain angles, i.e. the sun puts the sun's light off to Earth in planetoid objects, okay? Uh, and we got, that's more than likely Mercury there. It's hard to tell, but it could be Mercury. It's been showing up for a long time, so. And then we got these other objects there. And like I say, we pretty much float in in Saturn. And I'll have more on that tomorrow. I got the footage and stuff like that. It's starting to look like basically what we have found over time, a long time ago, is probably the same thing. And we don't really have something coming towards us. Just basically, Saturn has a hyperbolic star over there by it. Now, maybe it'll keep coming or moving, but there is a hyperbolic star over by Saturn. And it might be the next closest star to... Uh, We'll get, I'm going to get that down to Nat's ass, whether it's the next closest star that we know to of the sun. And it might possibly actually factually be that. And we found that it's up by Saturn. And they hide it underneath the limb of the satellite, uh, underneath the, uh, the solar panel limb. So I think I'm out of there on the magnifier as much as I can be. And then I'll get us a little bit more magnification on the... Uh, 
customize this and go 9.99 real fast. I right, actually just give you. I'm gonna give us like 777, uh, 666. We'll get 666 in there, and we'll be able to see the umbra around the sun. Okay. Now this object here has been above the sun tight, and you've been seeing it on some of the core footage, and it could, could be some other. That, that's not a spot on the sun. Okay. Uh, let me get get us into custom, and we'll put the 999 on that, and get zoomed up on that. I was wanting to show that in the last video, but there's lots of stuff we want to show with it. Takes time to show everything, and then because it's kind of hard. I got to put what's going on in with my voice because the factual. Otherwise, you don't know what the heck is really going on. So we get in here on uh, whatever we've got, and basically, I know there's stars because I've seen them before. I zoomed in on them. And you're going to see that they're going to be black stars. You see that? So it's just the angles too. So there's a couple. And remember, the umber is huge on the sun, okay? These things are just gotten too damn close to it. But then again, it could be the angle that we're just seeing, and it's bleeding through the umber, and it might be part of the uh, actual umbilical cord to the sun. I'm going to have to find them now because I've, I've flitched around a little bit. It'd be down in the black of the umber, I mean, actually outside, inside the core, and then I get back up on top, and there we go. There they are. Okay. So I can't really point at them, and then I'll slide over, and then we'll minus out. And that's those objects that are, those are huge. Those are bigger than Earth. Probably bigger than, each one of them is probably bigger than Saturn. Well, I know they are. And then probably even bigger than Jupiter. So, and then they could be stars too, just basically bleeding through the umbra. Because that's the umbra. The sun's umbra. Uh, basically, I'll take you around it a little bit. As you can see, it's rings, energy rings. It's just like a radar, and then it basically keeps going out. That's our magnetic energy, and you can see that there. You should be able to see it through the shades. Like I say, basically, a lot of this stuff is good to look at it on a laptop where you can move the screen around a little bit and see the waves, see the Van Allen belts. Okay? And just about any energetic... Uh, eight, DC, uh, out in space, everything's a Van Allen belt as far as magnetical. You might also just go that. You, know, you can always call it magnetical lines and stuff, but basically it's Van Allen belts no matter what kind of direction we're around. That's the umbra. But actually when it comes down, the umbra is the Van Allen belts too. Okay, so And you can see the energy wave too as we get over here to the left. So you see it's basically, the sun basically is a lemon. Okay? It's yellow. So, a lot of people think, oh, hey, it's an orange, it's just like the sun. Not really. It kind of looks like that from a distance, but when you get really down and x-ray it, you get a really good shaded look at it. It's basically a lemon. Okay? And that's the limb. And that's basically the connection, one of the connections, and there's more than one. And as you can see, there's dark, more than likely hyperbolic or neutron. Uh, basically, it's radioactive, and it's a, a star. Right there, way off, connected to, uh, statically connected to, everything. everything's an umbilical cord out there in space. Everything is just like looking at the DNA in a microscope, okay? Because that actually is a star way the hell out there. It's putting off black light curvature there too. It's giving you the butterfly effect. And that's off of the sun there with the limb gone. You see that there's no limb, okay? So I'll move over, pop out, and I'll go out slow. I'll just go out to like... 400 and then we'll get up and we'll zoom in on our like I say this is probably a good third or at least a quarter of an IU or who knows even if it's less than a quarter or an IU I'll get the mileage down and everything like that for people in the future and you'll start realizing how vastness even when you see stuff that's hella close to the sun it's a long ways away from the sun the cameras have to stay a hell of a long ways back okay good quarter or an IU back I think is about as close as we've ever got the cameras so goddamn hot okay so remember there's dramatic separation between that star cluster which puts off black light and basically yes that's a magnetical connection of star belt out there in space and it can be considered a a lot of people when they look at it they figure okay well it's a remnant so this is very well known as being a remnant but basically 
There's like three nodes well known by looking at them. I don't know. I'm going to end up naming them myself because the idea NASA has not come out and said, you know, well, that's that. They're remnants. I don't know if, the, I, if anybody can send me a remnant map of the sun that they've got. Because the, I know the quadrants. I know all the quadrants on the sun. I've got a list of them. Okay? You know, everybody can get a quadrant map of the sun. So there you go. So minus out on that. Move out of the way. And that's what we were zoomed in on. Remember, there's massive distances between that and the sun. It's it's hella close. Don't get us wrong, but it's still. I mean, that could be a million miles possibly away from the sun. Okay, because we're looking vast distances out here in space. So this is probably just going to be a short one, really fast, just for this here. Looking at it, it might even went 15 minutes for me zooming in on this, and I'll pop out on. I think I've got it at 400. We'll go to 200. And that's what we've been we've been zooming in on all this stuff out there. I didn't really zoom in on Mercury, but that should be Mercury there. Wouldn't bet my life on it right now, but pretty much should be Mercury. So, and then there's other dark stars around, you know, that, that. And when you zoom in on it, it ain't going to look much different. And yes, there is other umbilical cords, because I can pop to that real fast, and we'll end out on that. The idea of the, every once in a while, you'll see some umbilical star connections out there that are black. And I think there's one up there right now to the right. As you can see right there, yeah, there is. I'll zoom in on that. We'll get the 999. Zoom, 999. Boom. One too many. Boom. And there you go. And then we'll... As you can see, stars, umbilical cords out in space. And that pretty much might connect to that one right there. Okay? Remember, it looks like two stars or more right there. Right there, the black ones, and then it's just black light curvature, butterfly effect. It's just the angle of that light that goes the other way. There probably could, there could be planetoid objects on the other side of that. So, and then as I go through that there, and that's what we need to get, start kinds of start disappearing when you get in on it tight. So I'll just back out, and you can see a little bit more farther away than what you can when you're in really close, you see? So, then I'll pop out 400 really fast. We'll get 200. Come on, baby. There you go. So thanks, Navy, and every branch of the U.S. military. And we'll pop out to the regular size here. We'll do like a 125, something like that. Come on, i got to put my... There you go. So... More stuff on. I got a lot of stuff. I ended up I'll be able to give you guys a lot of reference on space distances to, to look at. A good, I'm going to put a good video together of space, solar wind, and all kinds of distances of objects. And Voyager 1 and 2 and Pioneer and 10 and 11 and all kinds of stuff. Chandra. And then we'll start adding satellites to them where they're at, way the hell out in space and stuff like that. I'm going to get some of these shots and everything like that. And the Mars rover's back up. Uh, the other one... Was, it's been operational late, lately too, so uh, and they've got it off of. Uh, they said they were on safe. I think I'm pretty damn sure that they had way more than one computer. So uh, anyhow, they're back. Supposed to be back on. You know, whatever. I busted their balls on that, saying something like that. And now they're back on. They're saying they're not on safe anymore. And hell, they could be back on. They should be. They could be still on safe if they got in bad trouble. Who knows? So anyhow. More later.